determine what is the greatest tasting freshwater fish so soft their flesh is so soft and what I love breaks apart super easy but the bigger flakes inside this is this is what I'm interested in just supporting this channel Beautiful lake we are on today, y'all. Decided to roll up here to Oklahoma. And I've never fished this lake before, so this is gonna be interesting. And always interesting when you're at a lake you've never been to. Right now I'm just kinda get, getting some navigatory systems going here. My graph has not completely started up yet. So I need that, just to kinda look at the lake, look at the contours, see what's going on. It looks to be a rocky lake though. Water temps right now are looking like the sun is in the face. 66 degrees. I'm gonna try right on this little point right here, just little toppy top, just keep them honest, you know? Okay, nothing, nothing doing there. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the mysteries and see what we have in here. This is the Pro Box for October. First of all, we got our cool sticker, which I usually stick uh, somewhere cool, but I'm starting to trend lately. I'm just putting them on my dash. So, go over there, plug the ball. A shimmer swimmer from 10,000 fish, so a little swim bait. Ooh, we can put that on the back of this Z-Man spinner bait right here. A little dart spin. So another little swimming blade style combo. Ooh, we have swim baits. Ooh, we have a little crank bait by Cotton Cordell, your money minnow. And a sweet spot tackle. This looks like some sort of little finesse worm. Ooh, this is a good box for this lake, y'all. I had no idea what was gonna be in here, so this is, we are on target on key. Put this uh, Z-Man spinner bait on with the Shimmer Swimmer as the trailer. Oh, something happened right there. Something gave it a little little knick-knack paddywhack. Typically in the fall, bass will start to chase shad, like all species. We'll start to really get on shad. They get on points really good. Um, top water is a big player. They, they will go into the creeks at certain times, just chasing, chasing the shad. Shad go back in there to spawn. Oh, man. ooh, I just saw a little bait fish up around this shallow cover. That's my first clue. So I saw a little tail flick around the edge of this grass. So that could mean that there's some bait that is using uh, the vegetation to spawn with. They are spawning. There's a fish right there, little guy. So that's your first indicator. Oh, it's a spotted bass. That spotted bass should be in here. Oh, for sale. I see the bright. Here's so a little bait fish just spotted in the shallow grass right there. Sometimes on these points, a uh, it's really screwed up there. Make sure to take this little band off if you get one of these hounds. These Guggen Squad hounds. Color on this point. I just had one uh, come up 
actually see them like I did right there. They're curious, come up behind it, boil on it, and you go, well, okay, I can throw a swim bait or something out there. Into this point as well. Uh, there's fish on the end of this point. 15 feet of water on the end of a point, and they're on these points. There's just hundreds of them out there. Hooked up? No way, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Did I find the walleye down there? Is that what I just did? Excuse a moi. I don't think I have ever caught one of these outside of Canadian. Shark. I'm going to look up regulations and I've got a lot of these guys. Oh, there's a tasty treat to be had. Look at those teeth, my gosh. Those teeth are no joke. Okie dokie, all of that is going to make a delicious fish sandwich. Uh, according to the regulations, they have to be 14 inches long, and I can eat six of those if I decide to keep fishing. The fishing is gorgeous. They're so tasty. I actually don't think that's a walleye, a true walleye. I think it's a subspecies of sauger or saw guy. Not really sure. I haven't caught enough of them. I mean, that's literally my, my first one. I don't think walleye really get past. Uh, it's like mid-Oklahoma, we're kind of southern Oklahoma here, but hey, new lake, new species? We're just going to see where the bike takes us. Look at this ponds. I would like a little bit of to do the best we can. Luckily, it's not too windy, although I do feel slightly behind the back. It's always a good day when you can go fishing. It's not cut ourselves. But we're going to have some problems. I don't know what I did to the world. Here we go, folks. Look at the smallie. It is! Fighting hard out there. Gosh, why are you so small? I thought that was going to be a holiday. I caught that one off this big point right here, way out. Way out on the little finesse one. I was just thinking to myself, ooh, out here, very end of the point, you know it.
Ba bam. I had to get myself another. This is a small one though. These are new species. I'm trying to figure them out. So I just put on a spoon. They are so close to the bottom. They literally look like part of the bottom. Completing the cycle with a largemouth LFG on the board. Wow, y'all. That's, that's where like five or six pounders are. Right in there. A little jiggle in there. Watch it. Get I don't know where the big fish are at. Right mean, we're not even talking like close to keeper range. I really don't have the slightest idea. The right size fish, the right size bass. What I do have, which is amazing, I, I, I think one other time I've had this, it was in Canada. Two of the best freshwater eating species of all time. A walleye or a sauger or whatever, and then a croc. Oh, I just got a fish right there on the drop. This is another crappie. Give me the crappies. Give me the crappies right now. Yes. I did not save that fish, I promise. He's got to be 10 inches. The guy's not going to make the cut. I think it'd be pretty interesting if I took the saw guy, walleye, whatever it is, and then the crappie, and then did a catch and cook side by side. I'm out here catching these suckers at 45 feet of water, y'all. It's insane. Oh, I just had another one. Oh, got him. We found the crappies. There's a little guy. Oh, it's a keeper, though. He's going to keep. My gosh, they're taking this spoon like a champ. I'm not going to argue with these fish being wanting to bite right now and that happen to be the best tasting fish of all time but we're gonna see is it the crappie or is it the sauger walleye whatever that species is that's gonna taste right now. might as well drop me down and get another one. Oh, we're biting now we're on a hot bite here oh oh this is feeling much heavier Be a big problem. It's a white bass, y'all! I'm unstoppable! I'm unstoppable! I can't go anywhere without catching a white bass. I have caught more species in this lake today than I think any other lake. At least most of the catfish is all. Let that guy go. He's not quite as tasty as the others. What is going on here? It's a much like Oh my gosh, we're on. Oh, unbelievable number of fish. What's happening? I think every fish in the lake just showed up here right now. It bit. Yeah, oh, felt better. This must be white bass. They're smoking it. it. Feels like my old familiar friend. Yep. Digging hard. Holy cow, we are on some fish right now, y'all. <laughs> These are the white bass. Oh, they're hammering it. Can't do the white bass. Back on board. What do we got? Oh, big white bass. Holy cow. Like, when the white bass come in, it's just a, just a mad flurry of action. Like everything leaves, that you have one on right there. The old paper mouth. Ah, there he is. That's a problem. That's gonna be a good one. Oh, this could be a stronger actually. On the bottom, fighting a little weird. Fighting a little weird. Oh, it's a drum! Add another species to the list, y'all! We got a drum! Holy! Moly, this is insane. This is insane. I have caught 
four species of fish today that I, I think I ever have in a day. All I'm missing is a catfish and a bluegill, and I've pretty much got the entire lake. This technique is pungent in the fall, y'all. When, when fish really start to stack up like they're doing now, you know, maybe they're going to go into the creeks here next week or whatever the next cold front is. But when they start all stacking up on points, woo, this kind of fishing, you just get on one spot and all the fish come to you in droves. And I'm not kidding you, normally it happens around three or four and a half to And we're looking at 422 right now. I got a fish here. Ha! I don't know what it was. This is great luck. And there's just all sorts of species that are coming at the end of this point. I'm in 37 feet of water. It dropped off into you know, much deeper than that. I'm surrounding this thing. There's not a huge tree that it's out in front of, but there's a lot of pockets that are close to it. So, it's just got everything coming out here and feeding on the shad. I haven't been able to find uh, shad in shallow water. It's all been very deep. Oh, uh, that's something big. That's, oh, what got here? Another drum! That pulled really hard at first. I thought it was gonna be a big soger or something. The live well is definitely heftier, y'all. We got about 45 minutes left of good solid light before the sun starts setting. The activity I've seen on the points today would say that's probably where the majority of the fish are. I just haven't figured out that shallow largemouth bite if it exists. Everything else, it looks bad.